New housing options are coming to San Francisco's Tenderloin neighborhood. Now, the hope here is to bring more young adults into that neighborhood. UC Law San Francisco, which is formerly known as UC Hastings, is leading the housing project for grad students and the like. Cron for Sarah Stinson with us now in studio with more on this plan. Yeah, I mean, this housing project, it is set to be completed by late summer, perfect timing for the next semester. And it's not just for SF uh, law students, this UCSF law students. It's also for Bay Area grad students from several different universities. And it also aims to help businesses in the Tenderloin. UC Law San Francisco is giving its housing a major facelift. These are renderings of the housing project being built right now called Academe 198. It's been in the works since 2017 and it's set to be completed this summer at 198 McAllister Street. This particular building is 656 units of uh, housing uh, as well as three levels of academic space, uh, classrooms, large auditorium, and other uh, some community serving retail. The $229 million complex is the latest addition to the school's ongoing housing project. The goal is for it to be like an academic village for grad students studying a variety of subjects. From UCSF, San Francisco State University, University of the Pacific, uh, potentially UC Berkeley. Rent in the new building starts at $1,850 a month. The CFO of UC Law SF, David Seward, says supplying grad students with designated housing leaves more options for other renters in the city. This project is a part of a four-part campus revitalization project to enhance the urban campus experience and aims to give the Tenderloin neighborhood a boost as well. That's going to be a huge boost to neighborhood businesses, small ethnic restaurants, will promote nightlife, activity, clubs and venues, put feet on the street. The Tenderloin hasn't been an easy neighborhood for this college campus. During the pandemic, UC Law SF filed a suit with the city concerning 450 tents on the sidewalks throughout the area and in front of campus. Uh, individuals could not use sidewalks. They were trapped inside their SROs. They were not able to get uh, ready access to and from their buildings. Seward says the suit settled quickly. We continue to work very closely with the city on uh, issues related to neighborhood safety. UC Law SF also plans to renovate its housing at 100 McAllister, which would add another 250 units. And the academic village, it's in Dean Preston's district. He's also an alumnus of the university. So we wanted to ask him, how do you feel about this? He wasn't available for an interview, but he said he toured the site. He's very excited for it to be added to the neighborhood. Back to you guys. All right. Not huge places, but place to put your head. Yes. Right. Thank <laughs> exactly. you, Sarah.